Hello, this is Pentiment. It's our new playthrough on the channel. This is Obsidian's newest game, which they actually came out with another game just like a month or two ago. It's been out for a while uh, in early access, grounded. But really wild that they put out two games. In fact, really wild what those two games are because they're so uh, different from what they normally do, right? But very much enjoying Grounded, actually, and very much looking forward to Pentiment, especially because it is developed by a lot of people who I really, really like over at Obsidian, and, like, I follow a lot of their work fairly closely. Anyway, like I said, it's a bit different than what they normally do. It is more a narrative adventure game, similar to like Oxenfree or Night in the Woods, if you're familiar with either of those. It's not like, strictly speaking, a role-playing game. It's set in... Sorry, I've got notes here. Do you like this? <laughs> I always try to have a little few notes here at the beginning. Anyway, it's set in 16th century Bavaria in the Holy Roman Empire. So it's very historical. And I believe there's like, among the core development team, there's like five history degrees. So... I don't know, pretty, pretty fucking wild if you ask me, especially coming from someone who is fairly historically ignorant, I guess you would say, <laughs> or maybe just ignorant in general, frankly. Anyway, um, technically I've seen this expressed. This is not during the medieval ages. This is technically the early modern period. And the game itself apparently spans like a 25 year course or something like that. So we'll see how all that plays out. Um, I think more of the history around it will be delved into as we play and all of that. As per usual, the first video or so will be a little bit on the shorter side and then we'll ramp up to our usual like 50 to 60 minute video links as you may be accustomed to if you frequent the channel. And hey, if you're new here, welcome. Let's uh, immediately get into it. Like I said, it kind of just cropped up out of nowhere as far as um, announcement window to release timing, right? Anyhow, let's get in here. Oh, and also, I'm on Game Pass, as you can see here, playing it. Very, sounds like it's, it's like kind of a perfect Game Pass game because it's a little bit shorter in length. I want to say, I heard people say in reviews, it was like 20, 25 hours in total. So not terribly long. As far as, well, like relative to their other games, right? Certainly <laughs> relative to like the last game I played on the channel. Well, no, no, that was The Outer Worlds. I was about to say Pillars of Eternity. Outer Worlds was longer though as well. Anyway, new game. Oh, we get to pick here. Oh, should I also show off the options? Let's see, before I forget. Here we go. Yeah, a lot of this is meant to, like, evoke illuminated manuscripts, I believe. Just some- just to show that I'm serious that, like, I really do follow a lot of the core development team pretty closely. I can say for a fact that the game director, Josh Sawyer, has a tattoo sleeve that is an illuminated manuscript. It's fucked up that I know that. But it is something that I know. <laughs> Just to prove that, that I really am that little freak. All right, new game. There we are. Oh, easy read fonts. This game uses stylized fonts and writing effects. Right, it's entirely unvoice acted. But you got me. <laughs> so any, any accents I do, American, English, or otherwise, just imagine them to be all like, early modern Bavarian German, right? Oh, and also, I guess, even further disclosure, I'm like half German as well, so this will be fun. <laughs> All right. This game uses stylized fonts and writing effects that may be difficult for some readers. The easy read fonts option improves legibility by disabling some fonts and writing effects. Very neat. And I believe this is like, yeah. Peasant, script, scribe, humanist, monastic, printer. A lot of this is supposed to be relevant to, like, who is speaking, right? So, like, peasant script. And, like, what their standing is, or whatever. I have no idea, honestly. Something like that. Let's go with stylized. 
Auto save feature. Got it. Oh. I'm pretty sure this is like real. This is like from a real book. I want to say. I'm not going to read this because it's like all in some sort of strange mythical language. <laughs> in principio erat verbum et verbum erat apud deum et deus erat verbum. I don't know. Let's rub a rock on this. Damn. Is this what people did? Yo, your eraser is a fucking rock? Or is this actually an eraser? Or is it a rock? I don't know. I got real the little dude. Oh, shit. Oh, I lost control. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Yo, look at the jetpack cat! Yo! <laughs> Did you see? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm already incredibly charmed. Do not take all of my opinions on this with a grain of salt. Like I said, I'm like positively infatuated. <laughs> oh fuck, I hope I don't gotta do math. I'm like really fucking dumb. <laughs> oh god, look at all that. Yo, look at these animals playing music. Oh god, also I don't know music. Am I gonna like learn shit? Cause you know, this is like a very historical game. Am I gonna, is this gonna be like a fun learning experience? April of 1518. An artist sleeps. An artist's mind. Oh, shit. And the abbot said to me, Andreas, I don't want you distracting the sisters in the library. I need you to finish this commission by the end of April. Keep your conversations with Brother Piero to a minimum. Oh shit, is this Pillars of Eternity stuff where I can click on Piero? Oh god, I better not. I don't know how to do it. But it's underlined as if I could click on it, but I'm afraid if I click on it, I'll select it, you know? Hmm. How should we handle this? You know what, let's just try, because we have, like, no stake in what we say here. Keep your conversations with Brother Piero to a minimum. Oh, shit. Oh, is this Brother Piero? <laughs> this is him! <laughs> That's the guy! Oh, shit! Oh my gosh, we can zoom out of the game into a fucking book? What? Yo, look at this fucking freak. Oh my god, I love it! Oh. Holy shit. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I'm getting into it. Okay, I'm clicking again. Can I click on... Oh. Wow. And then it lets you know that you've already looked at it and everything. Okay. Let's see. Well, great. Now we know how that works. Huh. Let's make the abbot be kind of like a bit fussy with getting it done ASAP. I need you to finish this commission by the end of April. Beatrice up here says, "Isn't that ex isn't that much earlier than you were expecting?" Yes. He had told me I had until the Ides of May. Saint Grobian Oh my gosh, who is Saint Grobian, this little goblin man? 
swearing already in my historical educational game. Okay. Asshole. And he's not going to pay you any more, is he? He has no appreciation for the cost of your sweat. Oh shit, Socrates? The yield of labor should not be measured in coin, but in personal satisfaction and self-improvement. Personal satisfaction doesn't put much food on the table, though, does it? <laughs> <laughs> Prester John. How did you reply to the abbot, Andreas? I said I would do my best to get it done by the end of April. I told him it would be done when it was done. Sometime before the Ides of May. I shrugged and kept on working. Hmm. How do we want to play this? How do we want Andreas to be? Or Andreas? I'm not sure yet. Hmm. I told him it would be done when it was done. Sometime before the Ides of May. That's what I like to hear. What's he going to do? Find someone else to finish your work before May? It's true. Making enemies with the abbot may not be wise, but he needs your work. And the doing of the work is its own virtue, regardless of what the abbot may think. Despite the abbot's ire, you must endure. Soon, you will have finished both the abbot's work as well as your masterpiece. And then, you will return to Nuremberg, where marriage and your new life as a master await you. Nuremberg. Let's learn. Look at my long fucking pointing finger here. What? <laughs> is this Nuremberg? What does this mean? Oh, it says right here. Okay. <laughs> I was looking down at this. Oh, fuck. I was looking at the little dude. <laughs> I was like, damn, Nuremberg is a hungry little fucking hippo with plants coming out of its ears. <laughs> okay. Nuremberg, free imperial city of the Holy Roman Empire, major trade center and city of arts, including printing, which I believe is going to be fairly important in this game. Okay. Yes, marriage to someone he has never met. Hardly ideal. Well, the alternative is becoming a philosopher. Oh, Jesus! Then you should definitely get married. Is she pretty at least? Jesus. <laughs> oh, I couldn't click. <laughs> I tried to click on Jesus. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's what my brother said in his letter, but maybe he's just trying to lift my spirits. The small portrait they sent was lovely, but we artists can be flatterers. Oh, who knows? That's why- that's not why I'm doing it anyway. Huh. I kind of want to go with the last one, because I'm very curious about what other reason we would have. Oh, who knows? That's not why I'm doing it anyway. It's growing late. The Wheel of Time stops for no man, Andreas. I fear you must leave us. Ah. True, your majesty. Will you visit us again soon? Hopefully, but it's out of my control, your majesty. I don't know, your majesty. Well, I can't always dream of this place, your majesty. Let's go with that. Of course. If you are not here tomorrow night, I pray you will be someplace as present as pleasant. Grobians, please see Andreas safely home. Of course, your majesty. Until next time, Andreas. Until next time, your majesty. Oh my gosh, I'm on the goblin boat, baby! <laughs> Pay no mind to the other fools, Andreas. Look at these babies up here blowing everywhere. <laughs> Fucking awesome already. These goblins are like being the sh I mean, they're like jesters, but also they look very goblin-esque. Except for this one who's definitely like a little freaky dog man. <laughs> Alright. I never do. This is how we come back from this dream every time we get on the boat of fools. 
Maybe we are also a fool. Or think of ourselves to be one. Oh. Ow! At least I would if they'd stop stepping on my feet. Watch where you're going. <laughs> They're fools, Andreas! No point in trying to teach them anything. I like that the little saintly circle is going around everywhere with this person's head. I know old John wants you to endure the abbot's shit, but since I take you home, I get the last word. Don't let him run your ragged boy. I won't. The abbot can't push me around. He's just trying to keep order in the abbey. I'm an outsider. It will be fine. I don't want to cause any trouble. Hmm. Do you think our character will have cause for an arc? Should we keep it chill for now, and then maybe there will be something that causes me to have a change of opinion? I mean, fuck, there probably will be, given that I know that this game takes place over the course of 25 fucking years! Oh my god. The little dog man? Listen. Someone has synchronized their their sound effect with the little dog man. Listen, every time the little dog man comes up, it's like <laughs> And it's slightly different too. There must be like three or four different <laughs> every time the little dog man appears. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Uh, he's just trying to keep order in the abbey. I'm an outsider. Right. An outsider he brought in. If he wants your work, he has to deal with you as you are. Oh, shit. My foot again. I like this little goblin man. Gah! Would you please stop? Oh my gosh. This little goblin man is like beating the shit out of me. I give up. Take me home, Grobian. <laughs> As you wish, Andreas. Man, I got fucked up. Oh shit. Oh, I remember this from one of the trailers. Good morning, Ursula. Oh, you are really a baby. <laughs> Go under! Aww. That is a very cute looking baby person, child creature. <laughs> Time to get up. One, the Baron, April 1518. A few more pages back to the Abbey. Okay. Oh, how do I get that shit back? Oh, if I click. Okay. Oh. So if I tap on this, or click on this. Journal. A few more pages. Prime hour six. Another day, another few pages for the abbot, and hopefully a few for myself. I need to get across town and head up to the abbey so I can start work at the scriptorium. Dude, I love how it's, like, not all totally uniform as far as the, like, I don't know, seeming, like how hard you're pressing on the page, or like when you refill your ink. Yeah, that's it. Look, the ink, as as the writing goes on, begins to dull, and it's like they dip it again, or whatever. I don't know the technical term. <laughs> how about this? Ex Libris? Andreas Mahler? Nuremberg. Got a little plant. Got a little utensil. A little satchel and a fun hat. Maps. Oh, shit. Greater Tassing. Roman ruins to Abbey. Shrine of St. Satia. Waterfall. Now, there are real-ass ways to pronounce all of these names because they're very real-ass places and shit. <laughs> I don't get the, the benefit of the, this being entirely fantasy and being like, you know, however. <laughs> Charcoal Burner. Old Salt Mine, Franz Bauer, and Widow Kemperin, Mill, Johann Bauer Farm, Gertner Farm. Oh, I live on their farm. Okay, 
the Gertners. Kyre saw Abby. Let's look at that. Oh my gosh, look at all this. Pioris's house. Covenant Loquarium. Covenant Garden. Herb Hut. Shrine to St. Moritz. To town, to meadow. Kirsov. Stable, guest house, abbot house, large garden, animal pens, abattoir, cemetery, prior's house, scriptorium, library, old bailey, sacristy, tower, crypt, church, dormitory, courtyard and lavatorium, cloister, refectory, kitchen and cellar, chapter house, monastery, loquarium, infirmary. What about tassing? Okay. Werner, Alban Bakery, Blacksmith to Farms West, Farms South, Commons, Zimmerman House, Midwife, Drucker House, Our Lady of the Labyrinth to Meadow, Forest, Farms East, and Mill. Okay. People. Brother Piero of Verona. Okay. Artist of Curacao Abbey. Known for his kindness. Kindness and helpful nature, Brother Piero is also respected as a master painter specializing in works of extraordinary color. Glossary? Oh, Nuremberg. From when I clicked on it earlier, maybe? Neat. What about these others? Oh, it it's like a hot... Oh, it corresponds to these tabs. Oh, I see. Okay. Do I have any other UI elements here to be wary of? No. Go to bed. Y'all ever hear a take so bad you're forced to immediately go to sleep? Got an eyeball there. Another eyeball. Okay, let's interact. The Pika Tree. Pika Tricks? Key of Solomon. The Heptameron. Prior. Oh shit, it went by fast. Oh fuck, I didn't even click. Okay. Prior Ferenc Ferren keeps giving me all of these books to read. Oh, I can click on it there. I have to be a little quick, though. Okay. Oh. This is them. Okay. In case you need to put a face to a name, I guess. I really should clean this up. Okay. Gertner House. Whoa. Holy cow. Okay. Hey, Ursula. Andrew! <laughs> okay. Ursula is cool. Hey, Clara. Clara. Good morning, Andreas. Did you sleep well? Quite well, actually. Thank you. Ordinary, as far as sleeping goes. Not well, but there's nothing to be done about it now. Yeah, I didn't sleep that well. I got attacked by little goblin jester men in my sleep. Nothing to be done about it now. Oh, I'm sorry, Andreas. I can change the straw in the mattress if you'd like. Don't trouble yourself, Clara. You have enough to deal with. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Shrug. Don't trouble yourself, you have enough to deal with. Well, I'll look into it after I've cleaned in here and taken care of Ursula. Let's click on Ursula. Yep. Look at these fun other things here. These, like, cats? A hand coming out of, like... A whirlwiller? A cat grabbing the butt of a dog? <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, Clara. Clara. I don't want you to be uncomfortable in our home. Anyway, I know you'll be off to the Abbey, so I packed you some food. Almonds, cheese, and some of the rye you like. From the Adams, or Albans. Otto wanted me to ask you to join him for dinner at the Abbey. Who is Otto? Oh, the duck. No, I think it's this guy. <laughs> okay. Otto the Duck. <laughs> Eva, or Ava. Otto stopped by. Yes, around dawn. S 
so this is like their whole family or whatever? Here you are, Andreas. That's too kind of you, Clara. Many thanks. Nod. That's too kind of you. I don't know what you just gave me, but to give me anything this early in the game, that's too kind. <laughs> Master Andreas, if it wouldn't be too much trouble, could I... I mean, could we... Would it be too much trouble if you paid next month's rent today? Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, uh... Jeez, do I have money? I feel like I don't. <laughs> she definitely didn't just hand me money. <laughs> or did she, and I'm about to just give it back. <laughs> okay. And if we raised it by two Groshkin... Oh, fuck, not two more Groshkin. I hate to ask, but we're behind on our taxes to the Abbey. Two months behind. Peter's losing his hair over it. Even more than usual, I mean. Peter? Oh, he's wearing a hat because he's losing his hair. Of course, it's no problem at all. Besides, we wouldn't want Peter to lose any more of his precious hair. Oh my god, did you just see that? When I was reading problem, like aloud, to you, gentle viewer, it was there was a typo. And it said probably M. I was like, oh, okay, it's just a typo, right? Small dev team, you know? But it got corrected as it typed out. They erased it and corrected it with an actual L. What? How long did that take to fucking, like, animate this shit? Uh, er, I suppose that's not out of the question. Yes, I can manage that. I can't promise anything. I'll see what I can do. Well, I... Wait. Were these taxes unexpected? I'm not sure how to... What is this? Should I click on this thought bubble? Oh. I'm not sure how to respond to this. Rent wasn't due until the beginning of May. Right, and it's April. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is, um... That's Beatrice. And Socrates and Groby and the Goblin from earlier. Oh. This reminds me of like um talking to your skills in disco. Be generous, Andreas. You can spare the money and it will ease their burden. You must take the consequences of inaction into account. What is this shit? Don't they pay taxes every year? Why is this falling onto you to fix? No, we should be generous. In this case, we should, like, they're... Like, they're being fucked over too, right? We're all in this. You can spare the money and it will ease their burden. On the other hand, she might think she can keep asking me for advances on rent. Hmm. Oh, fuck. Of course, it's no problem at all. Hmm. Let's talk like a lawyer. I can't promise anything. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> of course, I understand. I hate to even ask it of you. Our taxes get harder to pay every year. Peter works hard, but it just never seems like it's enough. St. Luke bless you for helping us out. Who is St. Luke? St. Luke, Christian evangelist and patron saint of artists and physicians, often represented by a winged bull. Well, then this is definitely not St. Luke, because that is a duck. Okay. Speaking of St. Luke, how is your masterpiece coming along? It's been two months now, hasn't it? Slowly, I'm afraid. Most of my days are spent doing work for the Abbey. It's only during the Divine Office that Prior Fer Ference, maybe that's how you say it, allows me to work on my masterpiece during the Divine Office. 
Divine Office. The prayer times observed by all Christian monastic orders. Monks and nuns pray together seven times a day and once at night, as dictated by the rule of Saint Benedict. A reasonable restriction, but slow going. The city council doesn't require it to become a master. I'm making it mostly to show clients and for my own sake. And yes, when I do finish, I will go back to Nuremberg, where I will marry and open a workshop of my own. From Nuremberg to a university, and now traveling the world as an artist. What a life you have ahead of you, Master Andreas. Yes, I suppose it does feel like I'm starting a new chapter in my life after... a few missteps, some wandering, a little too much fun. Some wandering, right? I feel like that's most people. Some wandering. It must be rather frightening, starting all over again. I owe it to my family to make something of my life. It is. But I know now that this is what I want to do. Yeah, do it for yourself. Oh, this will be remembered. Oh my gosh, we got hit with the telltale. <laughs> okay. Not many people get to decide that. Certainly, not anyone in Tassing. Anyway, I don't know anything about art, but I've seen you sketching such beautiful things in your little book. Your masterpiece must be wonderful. It is. It's my finest work. It's getting there. Well, it's hard to say until it's done. Let's be modest. It's getting there. Hard work will get you all the way. That's what my father used to say. God rest his soul. I tried to click on God. Now, I have to get back to my own work. Have a good day at the Abbey, Andreas. And we'll see you after Vespers for summer. What are Vespers? Monastic hour at dusk. One of the major prayer hours. It is followed by supper. Okay. Not tonight, but thank you. Klaus Drucker invited me over for supper. Who's Klaus? Oh. Looks like you're wearing a worker's apron or something. Of course. Please say hello to the Druckers for us. Of course. Until later, Clara. Oh. How about you? Eva. Or Ava. Hello, Andreas. Do you say something different if I... Okay. Just checking how this works. And if I talk to Clara again? Hello, Clara. Can you spare a moment to chat? Of course, Andreas. How can I help? Sorry, I... <laughs> Sorry, Clara. I was just giving you the from software NPC treatment. <laughs> I had to see if I exhausted all of that dialogue. I was wondering if I could help with your tax troubles. You said you were behind on taxes to the Abbey. Exactly how much are you short? Let's go with that. Oh, well, about two goldens worth. A golden. Gold coins used as currency throughout the Holy Roman Empire. Though different standards exist for the golden in different regions, it is generally equivalent to the Florentine florin. Oh. Okay. I know about florins from Assassin's Creed. <laughs> if you can't pay your rent early, that's all right. I'm sure we can find some way to pay the abbot. I'm happy to contribute whatever I can. I know times are hard for you right now. No, no. I'll have my payment for you. I was merely curious. I'm happy to contribute whatever I can. I know the times are hard for you. You have a good heart, Andreas, but I'm afraid I can't accept. Peter's too proud of a man to ask for charity while there's still ground to till. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked you about the rent in the first place. You're young and have your whole your own life ahead. I'm happy to pay early, Clara. You've been good hosts to me, and I can do without more than your family. 
If you're sure, let's insist. I can do without more than your family. Bless you, Andreas. Don't mention this to Peter, all right? He would hate to know I told you about our troubles. Oh, look, <laughs> they added in the God at the beginning, too. <laughs> she says, God bless you. He won't know a thing. Uh, all right. Let's go with the uh. I should return to work. Until later, Clara. Ooh. Okay, already a little drama. What about you, Ursula? Know about this tax situation? Andreas! <laughs> Can we go back up? Anything else up here to look at? No. All right. Well, then let's head on back down. And we'll call it for now. Actually, no, wait. Let's go to the next area and then we'll call it. I want to see the next area real quick. Okay. Oh, my gosh. There are chickens here. Oh, my gosh. Shift walk toggle. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, when next we come back, we're going to talk with fucking everybody I possibly can. You know how it is. Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>